yesterday we have discussed about means in the last lecture regarding the chemical change okay and uh, some practicals also we have performed so today we will see the next point that is the rusting of iron see the rusting of iron is also one example of chemical change okay but now in this topic we will learn how the rusting of iron is caused means what is the process how the iron is rusted see the last time we performed the activity in that you saw that is the one brown color nail i shown you okay so what when this iron when this iron come contact with air and water okay because of that the chemical reaction occur and whenever the chemical reaction occurs means it means it is a chemical change okay so when this chemical reaction occur iron plus oxygen water and then it form a brown color layer on that iron nail or any iron thing okay so that brown color layer is known as a rust okay and see this activity we have performed before also if you want you can see the last time video okay so in that that iron nail i shown you already means that brown color layer that is known as a rust okay so rusting of iron see iron objects like iron nail iron pipes iron grills now iron grill see in your windows also outside what is iron grills are there okay uh, then see the safety door which one we prepared uh, that also the iron is used why because iron the cost is very less okay and it is very hard so because of that we are using the mostly iron metal see iron objects like iron nail iron pipes iron grills and iron railings when kept in moist air for a few days kept in a moist air means what water vapors are present in the air now how the water vapors comes in the air because of the evaporation process means when the water started evaporating so that water is converted into a water vapors means it means it is in a gaseous state so the water vapors means when this iron come contact with the moist air for a few days get covered with a brown powdery substance called rust okay so that brown powdery substance which is deposited on the iron object that brown powdery substance is known as a rust okay now see this process is called as a rusting of iron so uh, these points you write down in your notebook also now see the conditions necessary for the rusting means how the rust why how why the process is occur rusting how the rust occur so here see the presence of oxygen and presence of water or water vapors so whenever the iron come contact with oxygen and water vapors means water so it uh, that iron it continuously in a few days then iron is reacted with oxygen and water and it form a new substance that new substance is known as a rust okay so do you understand the rusting of iron and why it is called as means why this example is in a chemical change because the chemical reaction occurs as well as the new substance is a form okay now the next point we will see how to prevent the rusting see now mostly this iron we are using means we are having the cupboard okay then iron grills uh, then safety door so many things which is made from iron and see daily they come in a contact with air and water so we have to prevent from a rust okay if it is a rusted then after some times it will the damage if we will not pay attention on that substances so for that we have to prevent the rust formation so how to prevent that some methods are given in your textbook so now that we will discuss okay 
okay now next point we will start that is the prevention of rusting okay now we know that how the rust is a form so how the rust is a form when iron come contact with oxygen and water then they reacted with each other and new substance is a form that new substance is known as a rust okay means that brown brown color substance is known as a rust uh, and see these uh, rust if you will keep that rust on that particular things then it will it will damage to that particular things so for that we have to prevent the rusting okay so for the prevent rusting what methods we have to do what methods are there to prevent the rusting so see here the first method it is given that is the coating the iron surface with paint and grease see now uh, means uh, maybe you observe that okay so see our safety door which is made from a uh, iron okay otherwise the grills that is also made for iron see do you observe that it is painted with black color maybe brown color means different colors it is a uh, painted before only means when we purchase so that time we painted that what is the reason the main reason is this only why it because to prevent from rust okay so when we paint with uh, paint and maybe we are applying the grease for that that iron it stop it in, means when we are doing the painting so we stop the contact of iron and water and air so it is the prevent from rusting so after 6 month or after 1 year most of the peoples they are doing the, they are painting the safety doors as well as our grills also okay so this is the one method to prevent rust now see the second method that is the galvanization see coating of iron with other metal now galvanization means what see the iron okay iron is also metal and iron when come contact with oxygen and water the rust is a form okay so this iron if we will give the coating of other metals then it prevent from a rust so which is the other metal that metal is known as a zinc okay zinc is not reacted with water and air so uh, so for that what is a galvanization see here the process of depositing a thin layer of zinc metal see the process of depositing means any iron substance when we deposit in the zinc metal solution they the thin layer of a zinc metal on iron object is called as a galvanization so that process is known as a galvanization okay and these galvanize pipes uh, see which those pipes are used for the uh, waters okay mostly the big pipes are used uh, for waters to supply the water so that is the galvanized before only why because to prevent from the rust so galvanization process means what it is the process of depositing a thin layer of zinc metal on iron object is called as a galvanization okay see here the picture is shown the first how the iron pipe and after the galvanization how it looks okay so this is the second method to prevent rusting now see the third by converting iron into stainless steel now see how to convert iron into stainless steel for that the alloying we are using now alloy means what alloy means it is the mixture of more than one metal and it form a different substance okay that is known as a alloy now see here molten iron means iron is a molten okay molten iron melted molten iron is mixed with fix or same amount of carbon manganese and chromium see this carbon manganese and chromium these iron is 
mix with carbon manganese and chromium and then it form a new substance that is known as a stainless steel okay see here that is known as a stainless steel and stainless steel many utensils we are using in our kitchen okay to prepare food so this is the third method to prevent the iron so when the iron is mixed with another metals it form a stainless steel and that we are using for our purpose so these are three common methods which we are using in our regular life life to prevent rust formation okay so now in this lesson the last point that is the crystallization it is remaining so that point we will continue in our next lecture so till today whatever the points we discuss in this lesson if you have any doubt regarding any points please contact to me then only we will go through our next lesson okay so today we will stop here thank you